Royal Challengers Bangalore is one of the three active IPL franchises that haven't won a single tournament so far, despite being one of the strongest sides on paper. We at Wrong One would like to address one of the major issues that has plagued RCP over the years. And needless to say, it is not their subpar execution of plans in the bowling department. RCB is not known for backing their players for a substantial amount of time to perform, which led to numerous playing 11s since Virat Kohli took over the reins. RCB as a franchise also didn't manage to pinpoint potential match winners at their peak time, which led to their departure from Bangalore. Here we speak about the players that left RCB and performed better at other IPL teams. The first one is the man in form, KL Rahul. RCB used KL Rahul as a floater and a part-time wicketkeeper. The management could never cement a batting spot for the batsman and thus couldn't bring the best out of him. Picked as a budding cricketer in 2013, he played only one game in the season before switching to Hyderabad for the next two seasons. He scored over 300 runs in 16 innings and came back to RCB again. The team did not stick with him and released him in the auction. He then joined Kings 11 Punjab in 2018 and ascended to captaincy in IPL 2020. The next one is Rahul's Karnataka teammate Mayank Agrawal. Mayank had a similar fit with RCB. The side picked him in IPL in 2011 and did not back him enough. To be fair to RCB, in 24 innings for them, Agrawal had recorded just one score over 50 runs. However, he went to other teams like Delhi Daredevils, Rising Pune Supergiant and then the Kings 11 Punjab and has scored 5 half centuries and a century since then. He has now become a certain starter for Kings 11 Punjab in IPL 2020. He has been in a phenomenal form in the IPL 2020, opening the batting with KL Rahul, his Karnataka teammate. And the next one is Dinesh Karthik. The wicketkeeper from Tamil Nadu has jumped to six different teams in the IPL so far and has now managed to earn the skipper's role for the Kolkata Knight Raiders since IPL 2018. Dinesh Karthik played for RCB in 2015 and managed to score just only 141 runs in 11 innings. He was let go in the very next season. Since then, he has amassed close to 1,500 runs at a strike rate of 140 and an average of 35 till IPL 2019. A couple of years back, he was the highest run getter for KKR. And the next one is the big man from West Indies, Christopher Henry Gale. The greatest batsman in T20 cricket took IPL by a storm at RCB after switching from Kolkata Knight Riders. He became an IPL legend at RCB, breaking many records in T20 cricket and creating new ones. However, to the surprise of the fans, he was let go all of a sudden after IPL 2017. RCB has always been a batting heavy side, but letting go of one of the men that had won two orange caps for them was out of the blue. Chris Gale has represented Kings 11 Punjab since IPL 2018 and has scored over 800 runs in the last two seasons. Out of all the players lost by RCB, the one that would have hurt them the most is Shane Watson. He had been awarded the most valuable players twice before coming to RCB in 2016. The management at RCB went all or nothing with Watson. He played all their games in 2016 and was made even the stand-in captain for the first few matches in 2017 in the absence of Virat Kohli. All this despite Watson registering a highest score of 36 over the last 19 matches. After another failure in his second season for RCB, Shane Watson was released into the auction and was picked up by the Chennai Super Kings. CSK extracted the best out of him when they needed it the most. In 2018, Shane Watson scored 555 runs with an unbeaten century in the final. In 2019 Final 2, he scored a 59 ball 80 before getting run out. And we aren't even talking about the bowling for RCB. Let's restrict it to the fact that he was the second highest wicket taker for RCB in 2017, just before being released. And the next player is Manish Pandey. Manish Pandey grabbed eyeballs in the second season of the IPL, becoming the first Indian to record a century in the tournament in his debut season for the RCB. However, he was released after having a couple of mediocre seasons with the bat. He switched four IPL teams since then and has now become a mainstay in the Sunrisers Hyderabad middle order. Manish Pandey's IPL stats don't really reflect his value to his team with the bat and in the field. And the next player is another former Karnataka cricket player, Robin Uthappa. 
Robin played the second and third season of the IPL in 2008 and 2009 for RCB. He did not have a bad season per se, but was one of the unfortunate cricketers to let go by Bangalore. He became one of the most travelled Indian cricketers in the tournament. He has represented five different franchises and has amassed over 4,000 runs. He might have performed better had he been backed by RCB in his peak years. And now finally, what has RCB lost with regard to local talent? While RCB have picked the likes of Shina Tarwind in the past and Devdutt Padikal in 2019, they have let go of two very good all-rounders in Krishna Pak Gautam and Shreyas Kopal, who have been performing well in the Ranji Trophy for Karnataka. Both these bowling all-rounders have combined to play seven seasons of IPL till 2019. And as we conclude, the latest player whom RCB did not capitalize upon is Marcus Stoinis. The Aussie had scored 211 runs at an average of 52 in 10 games. in the only season he played for rcb last year after being left out of rcb stonis went to the big bash league and ended up being the highest run getter with over 700 runs he has also begun excellently for the delhi capitals with an all round match winning performances will he be the last player rcb lose in the ipl or are there a few more to join this list we will find out only after a few more seasons of ipl for rcb in the coming years Check our other whiteboard style cricket videos backed by deep research. Kindly subscribe to our channel and help us grow. Thank you.